Okay, this is attempt number two at a buckyball racing guide to the Armed and Dangerous Race by Commander Bruski. Previous attempt, I ran into a Type 7 in the docking slot and exploded. That is not a good way to race. Um, I'm going to try giving my stream of consciousness during the race, as well as some explanations where I can fit them in. Currently, I'm sitting on pad 36. Um, I keep a map of pads on my second monitor. You can find it on the Buckyball Racing Academy. My favorite pads for small ships are 12 and 36, because you can boost right out the docking slot, as you can see in front of me. 13 and 14 are also good. Uh, the worst are 1, 16, and 31. Those are death, and terrible, and slow. Um, I've already gone down into the hangar and come back up, so that as soon as I can hit launch, I can get started. I'm going to go to my galaxy map beforehand and plot a route to Tesla Dock. It should be one jump. In this race, it's important that every single leg be one jump in Unlimited. If your ship can't do that, you need to find a way to engineer it or lighten it up. Most ships should be able to do it, even without some engineering. Uh, racing ships, at least. Um, and I made my uh, bookmarks in order. If you notice, it goes 0, 0, so it's at the top of the list. Buckyball Race Club, Armed and Dangerous, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3. So they're in order, and they're to the stations, not to the systems. So when I get to the system, it'll automatically select the station. That's a bit fast, faster. Um, so now that I've got that set, I should be ready to launch. I can go over and look at my modules, maybe take a screenshot, um, turn on my weapon color, very important when I have no weapons. Uh, so what I'm going to do, my launch sequence, is I'm going to hit launch. And you see my timer window in the lower right, that's an app called Live Split that I use for tracking my times so I know during a run whether I'm going faster or slower generally. Um, last run it was a bit messed up, so I'm not sure how accurate these previous times are. I'm worried they might not be entirely accurate. Uh, but I generally do those times at the end of frameshift drive charges or at the end of docking, because that's when I've got some free mental bandwidth. So I'm going to hit launch, I'm going to start my timer, I'm going to retract my landing gear and boost out the slot. I might also use some slight vertical thrusters to go up and clear the pad. Um, I think I'm about ready to do that. I generally launch about every 10 seconds. Um, okay. I'm going to try putting my microphone back here so I can get my keyboard up a bit for my timing. The thing you see in the middle of my screen is a joystick overlay. When I push my joystick forward, it goes up. My ship's gonna go down, so that's inverted. It's an auto hotkey thing. I haven't figured out how to fix it yet. Um, I'm going to try launching at 522, and that's going to be Launch, timer, landing gear boost in five, four, three, two, one, go. I'm going to go straight out from the station so that I can get out of mass lock as fast as possible. And only after I'm out of mass lock and I've begun the charging, do I begin turning towards my target. Check on my timer. Check that on my recording has started. And I'm going to hit the split at the end of this charge. And split. Okay, now I've got some time to just think about that. Okay, as soon as possible, I'm going to go away from this up primary star. I'm going to look at my radar on the bottom and head directly away from it. It's important to get out of that gravity well as fast as possible. So I'm not even going to be looking for where Tesla dock is yet. Once I'm at about 10C, 
then I'm going to begin looking towards it. If you turn towards the dock immediately, you won't be getting out of the gravity well as fast as possible, and I'm pretty sure that will slow you significantly. Now that I'm pretty far out of that gravity well, I'm going to begin turning toward the Tesla dock. I personally like approaching it, I'm going to perpendicularly to the local system so that I can distinguish things so that they're not all in a plane. So I'm going to head down from it for a bit. It shouldn't affect my overall speed significantly. Um, you could try heading straight towards it. I worry about running into other planets in that case. So I'm going to let the timer get down to five seconds before I cut my throttle. I'm at full throttle until five seconds, then I'm gonna cut it and go plas past the primary planet for gravity braking. Say eight, seven, six, five, and throttle is cut. I'm going to go past that center planet as fast as possible. Okay, I'm going to be hoping to curl around, and once my speed gets down into the orange, which could be blue depending upon your UI color, I'm going to throttle up again, and I'm going to be going a little bit past the blue planet. I'm scared of just how deep that gravity well is, and I don't quite want to get stuck in it. And now I'm going to begin looking towards the docking slot, because I would like the docking slot to be mostly in front of me. Okay, and we're coming in on it, and drop. And I think my timer is off in this case. Boost in, and get a pad, 16 is terrible. of poor landing. You want to be on the pad as fast as possible. And now I'm going to go to my galaxy map and select the next station and wait for docking to occur. And we are launching. And I'm going to have to go up and not go straight away. Shouldn't get that bad. Is annoying. Once again, I'm going away from the station as fast as possible. To avoid mass line, I'm switching back to mass line, turning towards my target system. Okay. This is the second leg. I'm gonna split in two, two, and star now and begin rotating so that I can turn towards Crick Orbital once I hit 10C. Okay. I'm going to be turning towards Crick Orbital now and once again I'm going to approach it until 5 seconds. Now when I dip back in I've got some numbers in my head that I'm trying to hit. I'll try and do them during the next super cruise time, or sorry, frame shift drive time, um, because it's hard to read out the numbers while I'm trying to pay attention to them. And I'm down to five seconds. Throttle is cut all the way down. I'm going to try and pass through these rings. And close to the planet, because I want to get as much braking as possible. I'm going to begin peeling around. I'm going to bring my throttle back up to stay in the uh, high turn rate zone and advance my throttle to dive in next to the planet. And I'm going to kind of come over so that I can go past the planet and get more braking because I don't really want to overshoot the station, but I do want to get the full benefit of the system. I'm going to look at the darkness slot, try and hit near the darkness slot and drop in. 
boosting towards and requesting docking. Please give me a minute. off my best time. I'm going to launch and boost out. And keep boosting towards my final destination. Now when I'm on that final approach to the planet, um, what I'm doing is I've gotten my head these times. You can see them on the cookie hole, cook some of Cookie Hole's posts. He's who I got them from. At about five seconds out, I want to be at about 20 megameters. At four seconds out, I want to be at about 15. At three seconds out, I want to be at about 10 megameters. At two seconds out, I want to be at about five megameters. And at one second out, I want to be at about two megameters. If I'm coming in faster than that, then I'm going to be slowing down. If I'm coming in slower than that, I'm going to be speeding up. So I keep those numbers in my head, and I'm trying to adjust my throttle up and down to compensate for them. Now here I ended up on the opposite side of the gravity well, so I'm going to begin turning a little bit sooner than usual. And I also forgot my last split, so I'm going to, I don't know, hit, I'm going to probably hit two splits at the same time. I'm headed toward Bushkov Dock, I'm waiting for my five seconds. I find that works pretty well on everything in this race. It might not be perfectly optimal. We'll see. I'm avoiding running the race backwards because I really don't like the approach to Viet Dock. Coming in fast. And we're going to begin gravity braking now. I'm going to loop around. I'm at zero throttle. I'm going to throttle back up to my, maintain my turning rate and push up my throttle, because I know I'm getting close to the planet. I'm going to buzz past the planet. My throttle is at zero now. Um, I'm worried that I may have come in way too fast. Okay. Maybe not. I'm looking for that docking slot. I'm accelerating. I'm slowing down. I'm coming in. Split, split. 20 seconds pine, not terrible. And request that final dock. Pad 36. Of course, now I get on my as much. Pad 36 is on the green side. I've got my name in the crowd. Scrape the toast. Come in. And slide it down on the pad. 9.27. Not an improvement. Pretty decent. Um, so my tips. Make sure you have the jump range for this race. Get a small fast ship that's pretty agile. Make sure to set up your bookmarks. As soon as you get off the pad, uh, landing gear up and boost straight away from the station. Try gravity braking. Um, I can explain gravity braking. I can show you gravity braking. I can't teach you gravity braking. It's mainly about what feels right. Um, and as you go through more and more races, you'll get more and more of a feeling of like how different planets act and how ringed planets are different and bigger planets and smaller planets because like the one near Tesla is the tomb of death but as you saw if you handle it right it's it's not that terrible it may have slowed me down 20 seconds 10 seconds hopefully less than that um, but I think it was my first landing that really ruined this run for me uh, so the landings are important the docking slots are important at speeds where you're going like 800 meters a second you might have time to re-request the docking slot once that kind of starts to be a matter of luck i'd have to go back and look at the video of my 9 912 i think it was and i think i got great docking slots for most of that so i don't really know um just run it again and again and hope you get good ones you can also make a macro to request the docking slot for you i do that um, I've had some issues with that macro acting slow during this race. I really don't know why the macro goes slowly. If that's elite dangerous chugging or what. 
um, after the race. Remember to just get in the habit of going over and looking at your modules. In Unlimited, you don't need to do this, but it's a good habit to get into. Um, that's about it. Uh, if I think of any more tips, I'll try and post them. Those are the basics. That was my thoughts during this run. I realize it's kind of messy, but that's what I got. And so have fun and fly fast, Commanders. Commander Bruce Giat.